Tesla has reportedly just purchased 600 million US dollars in parts for its robot army. I mean, honestly, I didn't expect this. So I'm kind of surprised. I thought Tesla was still, you know, fairly early in development of its Tesla bot. But um, this purchase of $600 million would suggest otherwise. Guys, I'm with PowerShop for my EV charging electricity plan. You can get a $100 credit on your electricity bill. Plus, if you sign up with my referral link in the description below, you'll get an additional, that's $175 of credit to sign up to PowerShop. I use the EV day saver plan. And the reason is because for those two hours from 12 till 2 p.m. in the day, you get electricity completely free. So yeah, two hours a day, it's probably going to cover your electricity bills for your EV every day. Basically, you can charge your, free, your EV for free on this plan. I'll put a link in the description below. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. Tesla has placed a large order for robot parts, hinting that Optimus's V3 design is potentially formal. I mean, maybe this is it. Maybe they have actually decided that um, they're going to sell this or you know, clearly um, manufacture them en masse anyway. Tesla may have finalized the design for their Optimus V3 humanoid robot if reports from China are accurate. Per recent reports coming from several news sources, including Tesla Rati, say that Tesla has reportedly placed a large order for linear actuators for humanoid robots from a Chinese supplier with deliveries expected in the first quarter of 2026. That's pretty soon. Orders suggested by the reports from China say that the components will not be used for Optimus prototypes because who orders $600 million worth of prototype parts? I mean, that's never happened before and that wouldn't make any sense. A report from Cena News, who are a legit news site, and media outlets across China say that Tesla placed a 685 million, I mean, that's like 1.1 billion Australian dollars, order from linear actuators. This is just for linear actuators, by the way. I mean, just for one, you know, sort of part or series of parts for the robots. They placed this order from Sanhua Intelligent Controls in China. The components will reportedly be used for the production of Optimus, which will be mass produced in its V3 iteration, it would appear. The reports claim that the delivery of the actuators will start sometime in the first quarter of 2026. Industry analysts estimate that this kind of volume is enough for 180,000 Optimus robots. 180,000. <laughs> I mean, this is a wild number. This is like... And a robot army level number. This suggests that while Tesla might not be able to start the initial production of its humanoid robots this year, as it apparently had hoped to do, and I don't think anyone believed would happen, the electric vehicle maker might be able to hit the ground running with its Optimus production next year, says Tesserati. I'm surprised to hear this, but it looks like it might be happening. As hinted by um, Musk's comments on X, Tesla is preparing to produce Optimus V3 en masse. Now, I didn't take this... Um, things seriously that Musk said. I thought, ah, he's excited. He's hoping that it will happen. But um, yeah, you, you don't purchase nearly 700 million US dollars worth of actuators unless you're planning on actually using them. Yeah. The reports of Tesla's alleged actuator orders have resulted in Sanhua Intelligent Controls' stock rising pretty drastically. Interestingly, a Tesla China representative has stated that no official information about this order could be disseminated externally. So Tesla have not uh, not said this is fake. They said no official information about this order could be disseminated externally, just a word salad. So it does appear that Tesla did make this order. A representative from, from San Hua, on the other hand, stated the company's robotics business is progressing smoothly, but they can't comment on this market rumor. So it's, it appears that it's true. These reports are rumors, technically, but um, yeah, considering the comments from Tesla and from San Hua, it appears that um, they are legitimate. And Tesla could therefore start production in the first quarter of 2026. San Hua, by the way, is already a Tesla supplier, providing components for their EVs. And Tesla was facing some, apparently some issues with trying to produce the Optimus robot. They said what was causing these issues was they were having trouble with the hands to 
make the hands do everything that a human does and that they needed the hands to do. It appears that they, they may have overcome that problem or Musk has made this huge order and said, fix it <laughs> because I've already ordered all the stuff, so you've got to fix it. This is the kind of stuff that Musk potentially could do, but I don't think this is what's happened. I think that um, Tesla have clearly, well, not clearly, but it's most likely they've worked out how to make their robot and they're confident and happy with the actual um, robot itself, except for the software. I think really, guys, honestly, I think we're overlooking the reality uh, that the robot itself is not really, uh, I mean, probably not anyone, but a lot of companies in the world could make a pretty good robot and they already do. But those robots are really limited by the brains, the software. It really comes down to the software. Think about the um, the actual hardware on electric cars and many car vehicles around the world. They have these amazing cameras on them, uh, LiDAR systems, radars, and the cars drive like shit. They do. I've driven many of them, guys, and on their automated um, you know, self-driving features, they're not good. Most of them, not all of them, but most of them aren't good. And they have amazing hardware. So it's not really about the hardware. I think it's more about the software. I think that's the biggest challenge for autom for not just automakers, but robot manufacturers is to work out the software, the brains of the robot. Ultimately, I mean, human beings can look very similar and one can be a genius and one can be stupid, very stupid. And they might look identical. So yeah, what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments and thanks for watching. Bye-bye. Guys and girls, I'm going to try and do one funny video every couple of days because, you know, we all need a good laugh. And there's not a lot of comedy in the EV sector. It's just not that kind of thing, is it? Now, apparently a worker or former worker at Tesla says a Tesla robot knocked him out, as in punched him right in the face. He's now suing Tesla for 51 million US dollars. Honestly, I'd be happy to take... 10 punches from a robot for 51 million US dollars. YouTube's new algorithm means that you're often not getting all of our videos in your feed. There's 7,500. I'm pretty sure you're probably not seeing a lot of them. In the description, there is a link to our newsletter. Click on that and you can get an update every day of all the latest news in the electric car industry. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. And clearly the robot's already turning against us. Have you seen iRobot? Remember the movie iRobot? Yeah. The, ro the robots turn against humans and um, do bad things to us. Well, clearly that has already happened at Tesla. An accident at Tesla's Fremont factory has led to a $51 million lawsuit with one employee saying he was left with grievous injuries and millions of dollars in medical bills after being struck by a... Tesla bot.